Yo, yo. What's up, my high value bros? What's up, kings? What's happening? Hey, man, y'all go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that notification bell and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go ahead and run it up, run it up, run it up. Go ahead and give me that, you feel me? Yeah. So, hey, man, today's video is about how the game works with women, okay? Now, you, as a high value man, you as a king, you as a man, you as a player, you as a god, you see what I'm saying? You have to play the game with respect to yourself. So number one, bro, you gotta have respect for yourself when you play the game with women. You see what I'm saying? Too many dudes out here are sycophantic. They simps, they lames, they tricks, they cucks. You know, you, if you've been watching my channel, you know what I, what, how most men are out here. And this is a problem with the women that we have out here. You guys gotta respect yourself. So first things first, rule number one, she's gotta like you too. She's gotta like you back. No amount of you liking her is gonna make her like you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta see yourself as a magnet. You gotta see yourself as a chick magnet, excuse me. You see what I'm saying? You gotta see yourself as a chick magnet with these women, bro. It, it, it's like law. Attraction is like law. You can't, you can't negotiate attraction. You can't talk her into liking you. Um, you can't buy her into liking you. Or none of that. Now. <laughs> A lot of niggas try to buy and they just play the game and, and just take you for all what you got. You feel me? Like a lot of dudes out here in these relationships, they're buying those relationships. They're in unilateral relationships with these women. And these women really don't give a damn about you. You see what I'm saying? Because it's not mutual. She's got to like you. She's got to like you back. She's got to respect you first. A woman can't... If a, listen, a woman can never love you if she don't respect you first. And how in the hell can she respect you if you leave with your pocket? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to fly you out. Uh, I'm going to take you out to dinner. You haven't even met this girl. You haven't even taken out. I mean, you haven't even met up with her. You haven't even had a conversation with her. You don't even know she likes you. She haven't kissed you or none of that. And you're going to take her out to this expensive dinner. Like, bro, anything over $50 for dinner is for your girlfriend or your wife, straight up. Or someone that you're already having sex with. This a girl that you just met. You gotta buy her out for coffee, coffee, tea, ice cream, a picnic, a day at the beach. Um, a day at the beach. Um, a day at the gym. Shit like that. Shit that you can have fun, talk, get to know each other, get close, things like that. But a lot of you guys, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You trying to buy a woman's affection, it's just not gonna happen. She don't like you. You can't buy it, you can't negotiate it, or none of that. If she likes you, it would be a chemical reaction to her body. The dopamine, the endorphins, the oxytocin, when you touch her hand, her shoulder, her arm, the small of her back, the waist, her thigh and shit like that, that's attraction. She likes you. She, if she gets close to you, she likes you. If she looks at you, she likes you. If she allows you to get close, she likes you. If she allows you to touch her, she likes you. If she texts you back, calls you back in a timely manner within five to 15 minutes, she likes you. If she makes herself available, she likes you. There's no excuses. It's okay and yes. What you say is law. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? That's the type of woman you want to deal with. If you got to convince her and beg her and try to talk to her and uh, 
raise her attraction look all that no fuck that you only deal with women with high attraction for you bro you only deal with women who like you with high fucking attraction it makes things a lot easier you cannot negotiate attraction she has to like you back i can't stress this shit enough no 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 amount of you liking her no amount of you loving her is going to stop her from not dealing with you or trying to walk away from you or breaking up with you or none of that or even just stopping to to to, to entertain your your conversation bro she has to find you sexually attractive she has to find you appealing which is why you got to be on your faith your fitness your finances your fashion and then you deal with females last five the five f's you feel me bro if you're fit and your clothes look good on you you got good fashion and shit like that you make yourself a lot more attractive women like aesthetics too they like good looking men too just like you like an hourglass figure women like that v-shape that i always talk about that 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 1.6 ratio from shoulder to waist. But that's number one. That's how you play the game. You only play, you only deal with women who like you back. That finds you sexually attractive. If they don't, you're wasting your time, bro. You're wasting your time. Okay? Number two, I talk about this all the time. You gotta have a woman to meet you, bro. If she's not meeting you, she don't fuck with you. So keep it pushing. Move on. Meet somebody else. Because listen, uh, if she don't, somebody else will. Do you know that there's 8 billion people on the planet? Half of them are women. So you can say about 2 billion of them are within dating age from like 20 to motherfucking 30. About 2 billion women in the world. You can't get one itis with these women, bro. If they're not reciprocating that energy, if they're not meeting you, you gotta move on. The first, all right, the, the M means what? Money. Let's say you invite her out for drinks. Let's say you invite her out for ice cream. Let's say you invite her out for a gym date or some shit like that, right? And you meet up with this girl, this woman, and uh, you buy the first round of drinks. Maybe she offers to buy the second round. You know what I'm saying? Um, or maybe for date number two, she offers to take you out. Or when the bill comes for the first date that you pay for because you invited her out. Listen, simping, okay, if you spend $50 or more on the first date, that's simping to me, okay? Ain't too many people making over, over 100000 a year. So $50 for, for a first date is a nice little, you know, a little small investment. Because you are investing them. See, that's what you got to get one to do. She has to invest in you also with her money. Okay? So, you know, paying for a drink, um, shit like that, that's not simple. You're just breaking the ice. Or taking a woman to dinner and trips and buying her gifts and all of that. That's for your girlfriend, wife, or your lover. A girl you just met. You only buy her a drink. Maybe one drink at that. Because the second drink, she should be offering you. Or at least offering the tip. Offering to pay the tip. But nevertheless, bro. Um, if a woman really likes you, man, she gonna, she gonna invest in you. Because women know this. She gonna spend money on you. She might pay the tip. She might offer to pay the tip. She might offer to take you out. Uh, she'll pay trips to come to see you. She'll fly out to come see you. She'll drive to come see you. Nigga, if you that nigga, if she thinks you that valuable, which you are, she will invest in you. Because you got to get a woman to invest in you too. When, when a person invests in you financially, they see value in you. That's just what it is. The E is for emotion, energy, right? Emotions are energy and emotion. So she has to put her emotions into you. Bro, she can't love you. She don't, she can't, first of all, she has to like you, right? But she can't love you. She don't respect you. And she's not going to respect you if you're coming out of the pockets first. That's just how it goes. You want to lead with your with your essence, with your personality, with your masculinity, your frame. You know what I'm saying? You as an individual, you got to make sure that she likes you for you and not 
for what you got or for what you offering or whatever. You see what I'm saying? So if she likes you and she respects you, she will eventually fall in love with you. See, we fall in love on first sight because we fall in love with beauty and they know that. Women, they fall in love with behavior. Women, they fall in love with game. Women, they fall in love with your leadership. Women, they fall in love with your ambition. Women, they fall in love with your masculinity. You see what I'm saying? That's the energy part. The emotions. Remember, emotions, energy, and emotion. The second E for me is effort. She got to put in the effort, bro. You got to get her to do things for you. Wash your clothes. Fold them. Clean your crib. I don't know. Give you a back rub. Fix your sandwich. Pick up something on the way from the store to your crib. Y'all often cook dinner together. Maybe she, maybe she stops by the store to pick up a bottle of wine. You got to get her to do shit for you. She, see, when a woman does something for you, she likes you, <laughs> right? If she don't like you, she ain't going to do shit for you. She'll be like, who the fuck do you think he is? Man? Who, who the fuck is he asking me to do that? Rub your back. Nigga, you, ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, if she likes you, bro, she going to do it for you. Women, women do things for niggas that they like. That's just point blank. She got to put in the effort in the relationship. She got to pick up the phone and initiate phone calls and, and, and text you and shit like that. See, listen, see, in, in the beginning, in the beginning, it's you first. You initiate, they respond, right? By making themselves available to you and things like that. So you you initiate all of the advances in the beginning until you have sex. After the first time you have sex with her, then you start to fall back. You see what I'm saying? Usually after the first sexual encounter, definitely by the second one, you begin to fall back and taper off and let her do most of the pursuing. See, women speak about, and don't quote me on this, they speak about 20,000 words a day. We as men, we speak about 7,000 words a day. So women, women speak about 70% 70, 70 more than we do. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So the, the, the communicating, the initiating with the phone calls and the texting and all that should be 70-30. 70, 70 on their part, 30% your part. You should be bu you should be busy on your fitness, your finance, your 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 your, your focus. You should be focused on that, right? Your faith, your fitness, your fashion, your finance, and also females last, right? So when you focus on the first four ahead of them, you're gonna be busy. You're gonna be being you're gonna be busy being productive. You're gonna be busy making yourself better, looking better, dressing better, making more money making financial moves, things like that. So you're going to be busy. You ain't got time to be all up on the phone. The only time you should be using a phone, bro, is to set up a date or to get together, to link up, to smash. Other than that, the phone should not be used for like, you know, just, just talking bullshit, small talk or whatever, um, gossiping and none of that. She got her girlfriends for that, not you. She did with you is fucking straight up. She talking to you, you should be trying to link up with her to fuck, to smash, to make love to her, to get her naked in your bed doing X-rated things, you feel me? That's what would be, that's that's what, you should be conditioning her for that. She knows that when you call or when you or when she calls you, you're gonna steer her to, her to your bedroom. That's how you lead a woman. You lead a woman by leading her to your bedroom, to your bed. And you subdue her sexually in the bedroom. That's how you get a woman to submit to you, sexually. You get a woman to submit to you because you're on your purpose. She sees your leadership. She sees your guidance. Because she sees your achievement. She sees your success. And now she's more what? Now she's more likely to uh, uh, submit to you because she sees that you're successful and you get shit done. She sees your discipline. She sees your, your excellence, as it were. She sees your greatness. Because at the end of the day, a woman wants a man who's a leader, a man who's uh, self-sustained, a man who's uh, self-motivated, a man who's, uh, you know, a go-getter. That she can submit to. She don't want you to lead. 
So when she calls you, when she tests you, you set up a date. Have a plan, set up a date. Hey, we're going here, we're going to go there. And after that, we're going to my place. You see what I'm saying? You have to be able to make plans. You have to, that's because that's leadership. Don't ask her out, and then and then she and then she asks, okay, where we going? What we doing? And you be like, uh, I don't know. Now you just lost the power. Now she don't see as a leader anymore. You see what I'm saying? But you got to get women to do the E part, effort, and then time. She has to be begging for your time. If a woman is saying, hey, you don't spend enough time time with me, that's good. That means you're in a good place. I'm not saying neglect her. I'm just saying that you just put your purpose first. You put your mission first. Your ambition first. Your hobbies first. Your fashion first. Your fitness first. Your faith first. Then them. They're going to always respect that. See, women, bro, they come and go. You know what I'm saying? 80% of the marriages, well, 80% of the divorces are initiated by women. And if they got college degrees, 90% of, <laughs> of uh, divorces are initiated by women. So women are very fickle, they're very fastidious, uh, they're hypergamous, meaning they like to like, they like to, they like to date up, either on the same level, or, on, or they like to date on the same level they are, or above, particularly above. So, the more a woman is independent, so to speak, the, the more a woman has, the more of a, uh, the, 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 more, the, more, the more likely she is to be hypergamous because she's going to always look for someone better that she can possibly attract. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, you know, uh, you, you know, you can't get too attached. Like, you can love without attachment. You can love her. I'm not saying don't love on your woman. I'm not saying don't fuck on your woman. I'm not saying uh, don't be affectionate with your woman and chivalrous and kind or none of that. I'm just saying you can do all that shit without attachment. But at some point or another, they're gonna pull back, or they they might just leave, because women make poor decisions. They make poor decisions, especially when they're in their prime. What's their prime years? 18 to 28, 18 to 30 at, at the most. After that, in their 30s, they're not in their prime years. Now they start getting desperate. Now they want to settle down. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And backtrack on all those uh, high value men, those so called nice guys that they looked over. I'm not saying that you know, being a a professional businessman or a professional corporate worker or a guy with a nice career or job. Um, not saying that you're a simple, none of that. I'm just saying, and I'm not encouraging you to be some kind of a bad boy, some drug dealer, some scamming ass nigga, some, some uh, drug dealer, none of that, fuck that. Even though they attract women or whatnot, <clears throat> but they're not a role model to be. You being a high value man or a king, a player, a Mac, and whatever whatever other analogy you want to use is is is, is rare. Okay? Women make poor decisions with that. But you gotta get a woman to meet you, bro. If she don't meet you, you gotta move on. This is how you play the game. You only deal with women who have high attraction for you, right? Women who meet you, right? Women who find you sexually attractive, because when they do these things, right? When they when they when, when they show you high attraction, they meet you and, and and things like that. Guess what? It ain't gonna be no games played. They're not gonna try you as much. They ain't gonna play no games. They gonna make themselves available. They ain't gonna give you no time, no excuses. They gonna pull up. They gonna link up whenever you say let's link up. Cause they see your value. Women don't throw away shit. That's, that's, women don't throw away men who they don't find valuable. It's just that we do things that make them feel like that we're not valuable by being too needy, by being too desperate, by be, by being too thirsty, by being a slave to their box, a slave to their yoni, a slave to the to their coochie, to the pussy. You like you're just a slave to it. That makes you weak as a man. 
you're not when you're not a slave to their sexuality, you're a powerful man. Now. That's a that's a man that's that's powerful. That's a man that's a challenge to them. Now I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. A lot of these narcissistic kind of women. A lot of these thoughts out here. A lot of these um <laughs> salacious type women. You feel me? These modern day women. They're not gonna want to fuck with you as a high value man. You know, the type of uh, women that I'm conditioned you to have are like very good women, but there are far few in between. There's not a lot of them. I'm trying to condition you to attract high quality women. Not saying that you don't smash the other women too. I'm just telling you, they're going to be intimidated by you, by you because you're too powerful. You don't chase, you're not a simp, you're not a trick or none of that. So they're going to see that you're too powerful. They're going to see that you just too much to deal with. A lot of them are gonna back up off you because you look too good, you got too many choices with women, you got your shit together, you don't need them, you like spending time alone, you focus on yourself and not them. But like, they can't deal with that shit. They used to dealing with simps. So ostensibly simps are winning, tricks are winning, but they're not because they're in these unilateral relationships. They're in these one-sided relationships. They're in these transactional relationships. And really they, 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 they just plan themselves because as soon as the money run out as soon as uh, whatever it is these women are getting from them run out they gone see but a woman a woman that falls in love with you she really loves your ass bro these are the women that 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 you can break their heart I'm not telling you to break their heart but I'm saying when, when they fuck up with you their heart bro because when they deal with you 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 elevate their mind you elevate their soul you elevate their lifestyle you elevate their thinking But when you start to turn them off by being too available, by simping, by being pussy whooped, by putting them first, by putting them on the pedestal, that turns them off. Anytime you put a woman first, she's gonna leave you over time because it turns them off. You see what I'm saying? And that's really the name of the game, part one. I might do another part later, but, but bro, this is basically how you play the game. High value men, we only deal with women that are attracted to you, sexually attracted to you. And that's it, man. Hey, man, y'all go ahead and grab that book, bro. Grab my book, it's on Amazon. It's available in paperback, and it's also available in audiobook, all right? Guys, hit me up for consultation, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll send you a Zoom link, we'll chop it up for a fee. Now I'll help you out with any type of uh, situation you might have with a woman. You know what I'm saying? Guys, like, share, subscribe. Like my shit, share my shit, subscribe to my shit, and comment on my shit. It helps with the algorithm and helps the channel grow and all that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fuck with me, man. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. I'm out this guy's peace. Oh yeah, and last but not least, bro. She has to be an asset, okay? A woman has to be an asset to you. You gotta start looking at women as assets. She's gotta be supportive, she's gotta be submissive, she's gotta be nurturing, she's gotta be loving, she's gotta be caring, she's gotta be nurturing. She has to speak words of life into you, your personal cheerleader, your source of pleasure and enjoyment. These are the intangibles that women bring to the table. And you know what I'm saying? She might help you out with your bag or give you great ideas for your bag and shit like that. She's gotta be a, an asset in every motherfucking way from making like healthy meals and she's not solely responsible for that like you a grown man you should be able to feed yourself and shit like that but I'm saying but when you give a woman a seed bro she's gonna amplify see when you get a good woman a woman who's really good for you a woman who is a compliment to you whatever you give to her she's gonna amplify you give a woman your seed your sperm she gives you a child you give her a house she makes it a home 
You know what I'm saying? There's nothing like a woman's touch in a home. A woman is a treasure, but you gotta find the right kind of woman. When you find the right kind of woman, you stick with her, you build with her, you know what I'm saying? And y'all make it happen. But she's gotta be an asset and not a fucking liability. She can't always have a handout. Y'all should be building, conquering together. And that's it, man. Peace. Let's call it in the crossfire.